Ah, oh, lab, <laughs> lab, <laughs> oh, lab, lab. I'm gonna get rid of all the. Um, where is inquire? There. I'm gonna get rid. Get red? Yes, I'm gonna get red. I'm gonna get rid of all the internet. I mean, we don't need that no more. I ended up getting two hearts, but showed you somehow. Ah, <laughs> oh, it's all your fault, Hendrik, for making her fall in love with you. Goodness gracious. Oh no. <laughs> I had barely walked into the laboratory when Rosemary pounced on me and dragged me to the table. Whoa! The results are in! I knew it! I always had a good eye for these things! New good eyes of what? <laughs> Rosemary hastily let go and motioned for me to look at a box containing bone fragments. Picking one up, she thrust it into my hand. Take a look at this right femur piece. What stands out about it? I held it under the light to scrutinize it. Aside from some odd marks and one of the ends being jagged, it seemed like a regular bone. Uh, it's not Cave Bear this time? <laughs> of course it's Cave Bear! But that's beside the point. It's a retouched artifact! Honestly, Melissa, you have to stop getting down and dirty with the boys. They barely look at the wonderful technology Neanderthals and hominins leave behind. Widen that perspective a bit. Come over here, Rose will enlighten you. I returned the femur piece, and Rosemary refitted the bone to four other pieces like a puzzle. Ooh! What's the story behind this? What layer is this from? Thrilled by my questioning, Rosemary nodded happily. This is from the White Celian Early Glacial Period. Basically the same layer you're working on, more or less. We had some x-ray spe spectroscopies done on the bones to confirm they were retouched by hominin hands. Here, take this. You can tell they reduced the basal edge to make it more ergonomic. Ergonomic? Did I say it right? Um, more efficient. Less weight to carry or deal with. There's no carnivore marks. These pits and notches are cut by Neanderthals, done to remove meat from the bone. And this crack on the bone? Impact point. So they use these bones to retouch flint? Correct! Neanderthals use bones to help with lithic reduction, which means fine-tuning those edges. Small lithic flakes were found embedded in these bones after a thorough scan. Then, once the Neanderthals were finished, the bones were discarded and picked up by solid... Solid fluxion? By solid fluxion! Debris flow down a slope. These fragments were found clustered together not far from the entrance of the cave. Hendrik would know more about that, though, if you want the sedimentary context details. Speaking of Hendrik... How are you two doing? We're doing fine. Well, we sort of put the whole thing on hold for now. Him practically being my t teaching assistant and all. <clears throat> How much has he told you? He didn't have to say anything. I knew something was up when he didn't return Saturday night. I am staying at his place. Well, the teacher-student thing will be over soon. You two have my support. <laughs> Thanks. I guess you told him you weren't in the dark about it either. More like he was in the dark about his own feelings. He was sure mentioning you often whenever we discussed the students here. He wasn't even aware of it himself until I pointed it out. His reaction was more priceless than the time I glued googly eyes to his rock collection. Oh my goodness, Rosemary. I can only imagine. <laughs> Ooh! Ah, uh, Rose, I printed the schematic representations and... He trailed off and glanced between the two of us as we tried to mask our knowing smiles. Rosemary, you're failing so hard. What is it? Oh, nothing! Was telling Melissa some interesting stories about you. What? Not the time I nearly got arrested, I hope. Arrested? Uh... Rosemary pounded the desk with a fist, failing to hold back her laughter. <laughs> This rock stratum caught my eye, so I pulled my truck over and went outside to have a closer look. An elderly lady was walking her dog and spotted Hendrik by a ditch, holding a shovel. She mistook him for a hitman with his tattoos and a scruffy appearance. Scruffy? Scruffy looking nerf herder. 
<laughs> she thought he was burying a dead body and called the police. Ah, uh, it was mortifying having to explain the situation. Now he has the habit of wearing his hair up in a ponytail in public to avoid another incident. I think it was a whole shovel by the ditch scenario. <laughs> he slapped the photographs down on the table, then leaned over to examine the retouched bone fragments. Hey, look, bones. You know how much I'm interested in those. <laughs> Rosemary rolled her eyes and gave him a friendly shove. He grinned and slid the papers over to her. Here, for the article you'll be writing. Perfect! Oh, wait, I need to grab something from Helen's reception desk, too. After she left, the atmosphere turned awkward. Since the weekend chat, Hendrik and I avoided being alone together. Um, I guess she told you about what we discovered? Yeah, it was interesting. Hen, I can't find the list of contacts. It's usually in the top drawer, right? Isn't it in the second? I'll be right there. I turn he turned to leave, and I reached out on impulse, tugging the end of his sleeve. Even if it was a little gesture, I hope it reminded him that I was still thinking of him. He paused, then extended an arm and patted me on the head. The week will be over before you know it. Hang in there. <laughs> yeah. Ah, it's too cute! Oh, man. Oh, I feel like I've been transported back four and a half years to when my husband and I were first dating. Oh, so many of these interactions remind me of that. Oh, it's so adorable. <laughs> oh, I love it. And we're almost at the end, though. I feel like there was a lot more romance in this route, though, than the other ones. Started a little sooner, so I'm a-okay with that. Oh, my goodness. Too freaking cute. <laughs> now we just need to get through this week. We're just flying through the week. Fly, fly, fly. <sighs> At least we're Rose is chaperoning us, so it's okay to still be inquiring, I'm sure. Oh dear. Come on, girl. End up with a hundred rational at the end of all this. You can do it. I believe in you, girl. Woo! Well done, Melissa! Oh boy, and we're here to say goodbye yet again. <sighs> I sighed as I zipped up my rolling bag. The tent area was deserted. Everyone had either packed up and left or were in the process. At the main entrance, I could see Sherry and the excavation team thanking the students as they departed. People were exchanging goodbyes, along with hugs or adding phone numbers. Thanks for reaching out to me. It made me feel welcome here. It wasn't a problem. I know you were here to focus on your education, but it was nice chatting with you. If you ever visit Belgium again, we'll love to show you around. Take care, Melissa. Thanks, you too. Shoji stood to the side, quietly digging his toe into the gravel. Um. It was nice meeting you, Shoji. Same here. Good luck with your archaeology. Thanks, enjoy the rest of your summer. DeAndre clapped me on the shoulder, grinning widely. It was great meeting you, Mel. I hope you enjoyed Belgium, even if Corrine was only a small representation. I did. Thanks for making me feel welcomed here, DeAndre. You take care of yourself. You too. If you're ever in the area, let me know and we'll hang out again. He raised his phone as a friendly gesture, then left as well. When Kyler saw me, he simply gave a nod of acknowledgement. Hey, thanks for helping me out and stuff. It wasn't a problem. Good luck with your archaeology endeavors. <laughs> Maybe we'll meet up again. Don't be a stranger now. Right. Take care. Once they were gone, I twirled around and hugged Sherry tightly, not caring that the others witnessed this. Thank you for not making me volunteer as well. Sherry, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thanks for this experience. I I'm so happy you accepted me for this field school. I'm not exaggerating when I say this was one of the best times of my life. Thank you for sharing this with me. I met so many wonderful people. I learned so much. I want to keep doing this. She patted me on the shoulder sympathetically, allowing me to calm down first. I'm glad. You know you'll always be welcome back. I struggled to speak, but the offer caused my chest to tighten and I could only sob louder. It felt like a second home to me already in these two months. 
The routine, the earthy smell I swear I could never escape from, the digging in the cave, the sour fumes from the lab, the stupid drunken antics, the language barrier, the mundane camp food, the creaky museum roof, Hendrix feels, Rosemary's enthusiasm, even Augustan's lectures. I didn't want it to end. Thank you. I can't even express how much I'll miss this place. Thank you for teaching me. I learn more here than I ever have in any classroom. Nothing like experiencing the real thing, huh? It always makes me happy when students develop an appreciation for stone tools. Don't be a stranger now. I am pleased to know that you have found it to be a meaningful opportunity. Any Osheri students are allowed to return. Great day, Petite Fleur. Thank you, everyone. We continued to chat about future plans until Augustan checked his watch and announced it was time to go. Sherry followed Augustan while Hendrik lingered behind and fiddled with his keys idly. You wouldn't mind if I stayed here tonight. I can drive you straight to the airport in the morning. Wow, could you? I'd hate to impose, but it'd help. Spare me dragging my luggage around the train stations. Then it's settled. Besides, the main excavation of the cave will be wrapping up soon, and I need to go over some things. It's not year-round? Most of the digging is done in the summer, thanks to the students. Other than that, a small team works under my uncle. I'm whisked away doing other work in Germany by then. I'm like a rolling stone. Ha ha ha. <laughs> he then gestured toward the building. Anyway, you know where to find me. He's going to stay the last weekend with us. What's going to happen? Ah, I need some water before I get into this. Hendrik? I peered into the laboratory, surprised to discover it wasn't occupied. If he wasn't working as usual, then... <laughs> ah, there you are. All ready for the flight tomorrow? Yes, no delays, and my parents will be picking me up when I arrive. Hendrik mixed something in a saucepan, and from a glance I could tell it was vegetables. I knew I should be more patient, but I wanted to discuss the answer I've been harboring for the past week. I casually propped myself up on the counter, my hands gripping the edges. Are the grades all in? I went over everything with my uncle last night. If you're going to ask about yours, it's ultimately up to Sherry to finalize your mark. I simply gave her my unbiased opinion. Unbiased. <laughs> we exchanged a soft chuckle before we settled into a comfortable silence. I stared at my shoes. So, can I give you my answer? He halted, sensing the importance. He turned the knob on the stove, presuming to low or off, and placed the wooden sp spoon down. Sorry, you didn't have to do that. I'd rather give you my undivided attention. Thanks. Anyway... I know you're at a different point of your life than mine. Your career is already established, you travel a lot, and it wouldn't be easy to make time for each other. I still have two years to go. More if I jump into my masters right away. Thinking long-term has never been my strong point, but I see a future with you. He's like, what? We've only known each other for a while, but I really like you. I want to see where this relationship will go. Ah! He extended a hand and affectionately ruffled my hair, drawing his head closer to mine. Same here. I thought you were declining at first. It would have been understandable, but I swear my heart stopped for a moment there. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, didn't mean to startle you again. He withdrew his hand and stepped back. Now I'm honestly a little scared bringing this up. I should have told you sooner, but I could never find the right time. Scared? Can we still get in trouble since you were my mentor? We should be in the clear now as long as we don't broadcast our relationship too soon. No, I'm worried that our priorities will be different. It's not the easiest thing to bring up casually. Hmm? He sealed himself with a deep breath. Oh, I'm ace... or asexual. I know. <laughs> He's like, I've been... I've been freaking out about this for like weeks now and how to tell you. Uh, Hendrik froze as he absorbed the response. Wait, you knew? How? Rosemary slipped it out by accident, ace geologist. When? during the festival. Wait, then, when I asked you out, 
You already knew. Yes. And you said yes. <laughs> yes. And you have romantic feelings for me. <laughs> yes! <laughs> and you don't mind... It's a part of who you are, and I don't love you any less for it. Hey. Aww. <laughs> uh, I was like, oh! Surprise hug! So cute! His face lit up excitedly, and he leaned in before I could react. He hugged me effusively, and I embraced him in return, burying my face into his shoulder. I'll forgive Rose for this one. Thank you. You have no idea how relieved I am. I still appreciate you telling me. I guess it wasn't easy, huh? It's always a little nerve-wracking. It's not something I mention unless there's a reason. I guess there's a good reason now. Ah, That's so cute! He kissed my forehead and playfully brushed away my unruly strand of hair. I promise to make you happy. I really care about you. I know I'm clumsy when it comes to romance, but if you'd like me to... We'll take this relationship at your pace, Hendrik. I'm happy just being with you. We don't have to worry about it for a while anyway. There's the whole long distance thing to get through first. Please tell me it won't be until next summer that I get to see you. I can visit earlier than that. I know you have school, and I don't expect you to miss your classes. My work wraps up somewhere early December in Germany. If you'd like... Something burning? I'm not really a pyro... Wait. Vorderie! <laughs> <coughs> Hendrik plunged into the dark smoke that emitted from the saucepan. I thought you turned it off! He quickly reached in and turned the knob before transporting the charred meal to another stovetop. <laughs> yep, this is the boyfriend I picked. <laughs> I hopped off the counter in case he needed help. You had you said it to high <laughs> instead of <laughs> Expectations were high, so. It looks like I said it to high instead of low. This is the second time now. I swear, I don't usually burn things. Both times it w it's because I was distracted by you. Still. Sorry, Melissa. I wanted your last dinner, dinner in Belgium to be a proper one. I didn't bring enough ingredients for a second attempt. I was going to make sautéed vegetables on rice. I looked at the pile of half-sliced mushrooms, broccoli, garlic, and peppers left on the wooden board. I remembered there was some eggs, milk, and butter in the fridge. Leave it to me. Have something in mind already? I'm not as good as you, but I can make mean scrambled eggs. Besides, you've already cooked for me before. I want to return the favor. It'll be our last dinner together, after all. While I gathered items from the fridge, Hendrik sliced up the rest of the vegetables. So, before the plume, what were you saying? Oh, right. I was going to say I could visit you as early as December if it worked for you. I'd love that. We can even plan that road trip together. Drive along the San Andreas Fault, check out the San Ga Gabriel Mountains near LA. If we pull over to the side of the road, please avoid getting arrested a second time. There wasn't even a first time. <laughs> I laughed while I guesstimated how much butter I'd need for the saucepan. As we talked and bantered, I could imagine us doing this many more times. Those four months couldn't come quickly enough. So cute. You guys are like an old married couple already. You got everything? Yes. I pulled my luggage onto the curb, glancing over at the automatic doors leading into the airport. Hendrik saw my dejected ex expression and mustered up a small smile. It'll only be four months. It'll be December before you know it. It'll come so fast we'll wonder where the time went and regret procrastinating on our plans. <laughs> I stepped up onto the curb to give me the extra height. Hopefully. These two months did fly by quickly. What's another four? That's the spirit. Please message or email me when you arrive so I know you got home safely. Take care, Melissa. Cradling my cheek, he kissed my forehead and pulled away. I furrowed my eyebrows disappointedly. That's it? What's it? Oh! <laughs> he tilted his head and pressed his lips against mine, his stubble tickling my chin in the process. The kiss was chaste and filled with tenderness, and is not in a picture. Me. When he was done, his eyes met mine for approval. Better? I launched from my tippy toes and hugged him tightly. Much better. 
Knowing it would be harder to depart the longer I stalled, I tugged on the handle of my luggage and took a step back. Thanks for everything, Hendrik. Likewise. I know it'll be tough being apart, but hang in there. <laughs> I rolled my eyes but snickered anyway. His silly pun kept my tears in check, and we hastily exchanged one last goodbye. And wouldn't you know it, the cars didn't have to honk like crazy. Wow, we're so professional about this now. Professional romancers, right here. Romancers? That's not even a word. I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. I just want to get to the four months. What's happening? What's happening four months later? My parents said they'd be back from a friend's in a few days, so we can make ourselves at home. And voila, this is my bedroom. This room is very you, Melissa. It's nice. <laughs> I was thankful we had the few extra days to prepare ourselves for Hendrik's proper introduction to my family. He'd need that time to recover from jet lag anyway. Moreover, Hendrik and I had a week-long road trip all planned out. We would drive to Point Arena, I admit I never explored much of North California, so it was exciting for me, and make our way down through San Francisco, San Juan Bautista, and Carrizo Plain before returning to Los Angeles. It followed the San Andreas Fault faithfully. How's Augustan and Rosemary and everyone? I'm guessing your uncle knows about us by now? More or less. He put two and two together when I said I was coming here for the holiday. Rose is visiting her family, as usual. Oh, and I got a recent email from Kyler. He's enjoying his work in Germany. It's at an archaeological site similar to ours. I haven't heard from DeAndre in a while. I did attend one of his games. When it was against my home team. I can tell he's been working hard. I'm not sure what Shoji is up to. I know Kyler talks to him often, though. He glanced at my luggage in the corner. All packed for the trip? Yep, I even printed off our schedule and arrival estimates. Ah, uh, that one's outdated. I've made some changes. He reached into his pocket and pulled out a folded paper. It's probably a little out of the way. I don't know the area, but I think it'll be worth it if I got the directions right. Taking the paper, I examined the address at the top. Outside of San Fran, but it's doable. Why this hotel? I scanned through the pictures, my eyes settling on a luxury king suite with a fireplace. It didn't have to be in color for me to realize this was a ritzy hotel. A perfect romantic getaway. Complimentary evening wine and hors d'oeuvres. For two nights? Hendrik, oh my gosh, are you sure? I knew it'd mean a lot to you. I'm not that good at being romantic, but I thought, whoa! <laughs> I practically latched onto him, causing him to stagger back in my rush. <laughs> oh my god. I need to, like, read this and see what is it. This is such a huge step I didn't want to... This is such a huge step I didn't want to pressure you or... Melissa. Make you, like, feel like you were... Melissa. I appreciate this so much. I released him and glanced up quizzically. You're okay with this? His eyes widened like I asked what a sediment was. Of course I am. It'd be selfish if the road trip revolved only around geology. I tend to get lost in my interests, so it's something I'm working on. You're important to me, and I hope to never fail in expressing that. You're worth your weight in gold. I should punish you for these jokes one day. <laughs> Hendrik leaned over and kissed me. It was filled with more passion than the one I remembered from the airport. His hand cradled my cheek fondly as he separated. I was speechless for a moment before I scrambled for a flimsy response. <laughs> the puns! Oh my gosh. Someone's getting a little bolder. And you say my puns are bad. <laughs> I chuckled before we leaned in for another kiss. I was confident everything would work out. Whatever rocky obstacle, we would face it together. Ugh, I even embraced his sense of humor. Ugh! Everything about that was so freaking cute! Ah! Uh, I think that honestly ended up being my favorite. I can't believe I'm saying that, but that ended up being my favorite route. Ah! Oh. Yep, Hendrik's route really did rock. Oh my goodness. Well, now that that excitement's over... We're done with Hendrik's romantic route. 
Um, but there's a friendship route that is yet to come, so I will be doing that next, and I hope to see you over there, guys. Until then, see you later.